Hello, my name is Joseph Lee. I graduated from the University of California at Berkeley, and I am going to take the derivative for y equal arc of sine of x. So how do you find the derivative dy dx? Well you, well, you can take the derivative respect to x on both sides, but it will be somewhat hard to do because you don't know exactly how to do the derivative arc sine of sine of, x, sine of x. So the way you do it is you take the sine function on both sides. You take the sine on the left side and right side and you have sine of y equals sine arc of sine of x. And you have basically the sine of arc of sine, which cancels each other out, and you have x equals sine of y. And then you take the derivative respect to x on both sides, d over dx, and you have cosine of y times the derivative dy dx. And the reason why you take the derivative inside of the cosine is because what the variable y is different from the variable x and that's why you have to take the product of the derivative of y with cosine of y and the derivative of x is 1. So you have y prime is equal 1 over cosine of y. So how do you find how do you find 1 over 1 over cosine of y. Well, there's two ways of doing it. One way is the trig identity sine square of x plus cosine square of x. Oh, uh, sorry, it should be cosine of y. Cosine of y sine square of y plus cosine square of y equals 1. And you know that cosine square of y is equal 1 minus sine square of y. But if you remember previously, you know that x equals sine of y. So you have cosine square of y, cosine square of y is equal 1 minus x squared. Therefore, you have cosine of y equals plus minus 1 minus x squared. But you will take, but you're only interested in the plus sign instead of the negative sign. And you will have equals 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. So how do you, so that's one way of solving it. There's another way of solving it. You know x equals sine of y. So let's draw this triangle right here. You know the angle y is right here, and the height and sine of y is basically the height over the base. I mean height over the hypotenuse. So assuming that the hypotenuse is 1, what will be a reasonable variable for the height? That will be x. So once you know the height and the hypotenuse, you can determine the base be 1 minus x squared. And this seems more obvious. You know that the negative side, negative of this wouldn't be the base because the unit of length would be positive according to this diagram in the first quadrant. It could be in the second quadrant where the unit of the base will be negative. But for our application, it will be positive as well. And when we take the cosine of y, which is the base over the hypotenuse and which will give you this answer right here.